It was May 2023. I remember vividly sitting in my tiny apartment in Seoul, clipboard in hand scribbling fervently. Dreams that were born in the cradle of my mind were slowly manifesting into tangible shapes, making my heart flutter with a cocktail mix of exhilaration and trepidation. I was drafting out my cocktail bar's business plan. Each word written, every detail outlined, it was like creating a cocktail, where every ingredient had a role to play, contributing its flavor to this recipe of my dreams infused with a zest of my personality and splashed with a passion grown over the years. This was my blueprint, the projection of my years of mixology experience and love for the craft onto a blank canvas, standing on the crossroads between the realms of fantasy and reality. I scratched my head, smeared my face with ink, crumpled countless sheets of paper into dismissive balls, but the vision inside my head never wavered, never blurred. Each time my efforts proved fruitless, I found myself jumping back into the fray armed with a new perspective. I was pinning down my dream with every word etched, crafting a destiny formerly known only to the stars above. Behind every crossed-out word, underlined phrase, and scribbled sketch, there was a story, a part of me. The wooden flooring of the bar reflected my love for earthy elements inspired by pottery. The planned menu reflected my spirit, my journey from China to Seoul, my voyage to Paris and back, and most importantly, my resilience. My thoughts drifted to my patrons at my current workplace, how their faces lit up when they sipped on one of my cocktails, the warmth of their smiles, the clink of their glasses. It was a symphony that kept on looping in the noir auditorium of my mind. I wanted to replicate that, better yet, I wanted to elevate that. Undoubtedly, it felt like navigating through a maze in the dark, a maze I was constructing every moment. But despite the uncertainty, despite the complexity, every drawn line, every idea felt like a step forward. And with each step, my dream of opening up my cocktail bar seemed a little more tangible, a little less like a star in a distant galaxy. As I sat there, moonlight spilling onto my sketches, I knew that the leaps of faith, the triumphs, the failures, the late-night creative bouts, they were converging towards this moment of serene yet restless anticipation. Grabbing the reins of my optimism, I threw myself into the practical aspects of my dream endeavor. Thus began my pursuit for the perfect location that would house my bar, desiring a spot that would resonate with the soul of my vision. The quest had its own ups and downs, from browsing the bustling streets of Seoul to weeding through numerous real estate listings. Each location visited, every space evaluated, ignited a myriad of possibilities within me. Remembering the advice of my culinary professor in Paris, I sought a place where the bar could become an extension of my personality, a tangible expression of my mixology passion, and a homely haven for the patrons. Meanwhile, I was constantly contacting potential investors, always keeping my tone optimistic to mask any insecurities that sometimes came bubbling up in me. I knew the road to my dream was arduous, marked with financial struggles. But the vision of my cocktail bar kept me resilient. However, the most significant challenge was perhaps bringing together the right crew. Being an easygoing person by nature, I wanted to build a team that embodied the same spirit, those who'd share the same passion and commitment for the craft, uplifting each other and creating a joyful workspace. I was not only crafting a bar, but a creative hub where people could explore the world of spirits. I yearned for a team that not only understood the art of mixology, but also respected it, contributing their own creativity into the mix. The hiring phase was interspersed with moments of disappointment, joy, surprise, laughter, all mixed together like a classic cocktail blend. Every interview was a learning experience. The way each candidate expressed their passion, visions, and understanding of mixology like different ingredients of my dream concoction. While preparing for each aspect of my dream bar, I couldn't help but hum or sing to myself, infusing my surroundings with my love for the craft, creating a tune that played alongside my dreams. Each day was filled with a sense of purpose, each effort a step closer to manifesting my dream bar, and each setback a lesson, molding me into the passionate yet composed bar owner I aspired to become. As the blueprint of my bar was laid out, the next exciting step was to conceptualize the exciting plethora of cocktails that I would be serving. Fully aware of the responsibility it held, I chose my beloved bar counter as the birthplace for every cocktail destined to grace my bar's menu. Immersed in the world of spirits, I saw myself as an artist, each cocktail a unique piece of art expertly crafted with a balance of skill and heart. 
Drawing from my extensive knowledge of spirits and experience, I set to the task full of eager anticipation. Countless trials took place as each cocktail underwent a journey from inception to creation, testing, and refining. The process was akin to a dance, a delicate ballet of various spirits choreographed by me, painting an exquisite symphony of flavors and finesse. While I loved working with all spirits, I couldn't help but fall back onto my love for Korean spirits and wines, particularly soju. I recalled how in Paris, the accidental creation of a cocktail that tasted like popular Korean soju had evoked distinct memories of home. Now in my homeland, I welcomed that familiar taste, channeling the homesickness I had once experienced into shaping fusion cocktails. Mirroring the blend of my Chinese heritage and Paris training, my cocktails represented the transcultural journey I had embarked on. I experimented with traditional Chinese spirits, Korean liquors, French wines, infusing them with vibrant flavors that told my life story with every sip. Each drink bore a piece of me. My childhood memories of making dumplings during Chinese New Year, the Parisian flavors introduced to me by Damien, the Korean spirituality I had embraced. The act of marrying my past into these cocktail creations was cathartic, painting an exquisite panorama encapsulating my present and past while also highlighting my skills and versatility as a mixologist. I found this creative process incredibly exhilarating, absorbing myself in it for days on end. I eagerly awaited the day my guests would immerse in the same flavors, connecting with pieces of my narrative stitched together through each cocktail, savoring my journey through the streets of Hangzhou to the boulevards of Paris, reaching the heart of Seoul. As my cocktail concoctions took shape, something deep within yearned to see these spirits reside in a space that carried my distinctive mark, reflecting my journey and growth. My thoughts wandered to the decor of my soon-to-be cocktail bar, an aspect that was just as significant to me as the eclectic cocktail menu I was crafting. I desired the bar to be more than just a drinking spot, I longed for it to be a sanctuary where every guest would find a sense of belonging, comfort, and a connection to my narrative. With this profound idea in mind, I started envisioning the look and feel of my bar, drawing inspiration from my life experiences and personal passions. Remembering my therapeutic journeys in pottery, I dreamed of a rustic yet modern ambiance, where ceramic artwork had a prominent display. I thought of my pottery classes and the peace it brought me and decided that the essence of that serenity, mingled with my jovial personality, would be ingrained in every nook of my bar. Of course, my Chinese heritage wasn't to be overlooked. I imagined abstract pieces of calligraphy adorning the walls, telling silent tales of my Chinese roots, my parents' proud teachings and influence that had shaped the very core of my being. The calligraphy would serve not just as decoration, but as unspoken invitations into my past snippets of my journey presented in elegant strokes. Every element I envisioned bore a hint of the harmonious mix of cultures within me. From the French wines to the Korean soju infused in my cocktails, my passion for mixology mirrored in the conceptualization of my bar decor. The combination of rustic ceramic touches, the oriental elements, and the flair of excitement stemming from my personality, each fused to mold a unique warmth to the place crafting an environment that was an embodiment of my spirit. In the flurry of this experience while drafting the layout of the bar, the choice of ceramics, drapes, and lights, I felt like an artist at work again. But this time, my canvas was my dream bar, and my tools were passion, perseverance, and a little sprinkle of playfulness. As the rhythm of mixology had once danced with my senses, so did the symphony of design and decor now, filling me with anticipation and pure joy. As the design of my future bar took shape in my mind, an idea sparked. What if I could offer a preview of my bar and my new cocktails to my regular patrons, a kind of pre-launch special? The more I thought about it, the more excited I became. I envisioned an evening with my loyal customers, their reactions to my original cocktail creations, and their impressions of my bar's concept, a crucial compass in my ongoing journey. September rolled in and I decided to hold a special event at my existing job, inviting my regulars for this exclusive testing experience. It was a gamble, blending the professional with the intensely personal, revealing my aspirations and exposing my vulnerabilities. Yet the adventurous side of me, the side that thrives on risk and revels in the thrill of the new, won over any lingering doubts. 
Each step in preparation for the event was a careful balance of creativity and anticipation. The cocktail list was finalized, a diverse array of spirits, each bearing my stamp from conception to presentation. I drew upon the past, my experiences in Seoul, Paris, and my Chinese heritage, encapsulating them in every glass. Alongside the drinks, I unveiled sketches of my future bar to everyone present. From the bare outlines of the bar to the aesthetics of ceramic and calligraphy, it was all a tangible part of the future I was moving towards. My heart fluttered with nervous excitement as the day of the event approached. For the first time, my patrons, my friends, would taste the fruition of my journey, immersed in the ambiance I dreamt for my future bar. As their cheers echoed in my ears, mixed with anticipatory silence as they sipped my cocktails and took in my bar sketches, I saw my dreams inching closer to reality. September marked a crucial turning point in my journey towards my dream, the establishment of my cocktail bar. It was a whirlwind of activity, each step steeped in anticipation and purpose. One day, over a ceramic wheel carefully crafting a new cocktail glass, a thought struck me. My hands continued the methodical rhythm of molding the clay, but my mind was engrossed in my patrons. Their feedback from the event had been overwhelmingly positive, their praises a sweet serenade to my labor of love. As I worked tirelessly to bring my bar to reality, every minute detail was meticulously checked. The quality of the spirits, the interior decor, the perfect lighting to accentuate the ceramic bar top dotted with patterns derived from my Chinese calligraphy. Every decision was punctuated with the voices of my patrons, their feedback acting as a guiding light. However, the organizational rigmarole was immense, but the progress was worth the stress, the uncertainty, and the torrent of anxiety that often came uninvited. Yet, I wore those sleepless nights proudly like battle scars, and as the bar started taking shape, one could see the echo of my journey in every nook and corner. Behind the bar, my pottery pieces, cocktail glasses, jugs, and the occasional decorative artifact stood like stalwart sentinels guarding my passion project. They were not just mere pieces of ceramic, but narratives of my life etched in clay. With the initial plan going smoothly, I started the recruitment process for my bar staff. I was not just looking for employees, but companions who shared my passion for mixology. Individuals ready to embark on this adventurous journey. From advertising the job openings to scrutinizing innumerable CVs and conducting interviews, the process was daunting yet exhilarating. There was an unusual satisfaction in meeting like-minded people, prospectively my future team. Their excitement to be part of my dream felt like a balm on my anxiety-ridden heart. September was turning out to be exuberantly exhausting and rewarding, like tasting an unconventional cocktail that leaves an indelible impression. With each passing day, my dream was inching closer to reality. The once elusive cocktail bar was manifesting into a solid space. Every brick that was laid, every piece of furniture that was set, seemed to resonate with my unquenchable thirst to make my dream a reality. Despite the roller coaster ride of emotions and the enormous hurdles, Memories of the September of 2023 became the beacon that illuminated my pathway to the cocktail bar of my dreams. As September rolled to an end, the momentous task of actualizing my dream bar found itself transitioning from a mere blueprint towards a tangible reality. On a nippy Tuesday evening, under the balmy incandescent lights of my makeshift workspace, the first draft of my dream's architectural blueprint seemed alive with possibilities— pulsating rhythmically in harmonious sync with my ever-beating heart. Yes, the work was backbreaking, and the challenges were abundant. There were days where I'd find myself drenched in sweat, dirt adding an additional layer to my freckled face, the mole necking my right collarbone hidden under scrappy remnants of simple plaster. My fingers, the very same fingers ingrained with the art of molding clay and the precision of infusing spirits— now found themselves entangled in the gritty yet rewarding work of laying out brick and concrete. Yet the very essence of it all, the scintillating combination of plaster, paint, concrete, and the sweet scent of elation tingling my senses, presented an addictive euphoria that no amount of spirits could emulate. My body might have been weary, but my adventurous soul was exhilarated, thriving amidst chaos and creation. Fueled by my decade-old vision, I continued to chisel through hours, transforming each grueling second into an opportunity of metamorphosis. As a bartender, I had learned the art of mixing diverse spirits to create harmony. 
As a multilinguist, I had mastered the art of blending different dialects to communicate effectively. There was no reason I couldn't replicate the same in my labor of love, fusing the individual disparities of brick, plaster, paint, and nail into a cohesive structure that would eventually embody the free spirit of Evelyn, the mixologist, the artist, the optimist. Insider tips from Kyung Su and Suman helped me navigate through this new territory. As my bar gradually began to mirror its architectural twin set on paper, it felt like a child of mine, conceived by aspiration and nurtured by relentless hard work, was finally inching closer to reality. Day after day, the daunting structure, once an abandoned brick-and-mortar skeleton, gradually began to morph into a beacon of hope and a sanctuary for spirited concoctions. In the midst of all the rubble, the sparks of a magical reality began to shimmer through. A space that carried the resonance of my dreams was taking shape, under the guidance of my fingertips and the strength of my resolve.